Centers both set to dig on. The Bears have won the draw, and we are now underway. Hirsch has got it in the wrong zone. Picked up along the boards by Snively. Here's a short pass to Prisky. Oh, how did you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do, especially when you get those great A scoring chances. You have to find a way to, at minimum, get it to the net. But, man, I think he had a little more ricochets off his toe. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Wilkesbury Scranton's got a hold of it along the wall. Here he is, shot in front. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Scarbosa's won the draw inside his own end. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Angles it over to LaPierre. Taken by Butcher. Carries the puck to the neutral zone. trying to find some holes or weaknesses to his game, James, but I mean, that shutout streak has been there for a reason. He has been so impressive, actually fantastic between the pipes. So it's going to come to an end tonight, but man, he has been outstanding. The Penguins strike first here in the opening frame, a relatively early goal in here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in, and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't, but it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead, so that's a nice way to start the game. Picked up along the wall by Johansson. Odd man rush. That was off a twig. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Looking to set up offensively. The Bears take possession in the defensive end. Moves it to Vecchioli. Now he takes it over the line. Quick pass to Rowe. And that slides right out to center ice. Take it along the wall by Rowe. Loses control here. Right up the gut into the offensive end. From one point man to another. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Stevenson's timing of that save is incredible. I mean, you have to find a way to build on save after save. I mean, he's coming off of that shutout performance, so everyone in the building knows what he can do. McMichael's body language says it all. He is frustrated. And anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. Johnstone's taking it from his own end. And now it's grabbed by Prisky. Let's it fly. Another stop by the goaltender. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Long pass up ahead to center. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. How did he stop that one? Oh, just a great heads up play by Fadoon. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather. And they'll be back on the ice. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. And it's a quick pass to Fadoon. Good night! 
What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Close save. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Grabs the puck. Wrestling side. Close save. Oh, quick reflexes on the play. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Big time save right there. shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him, because he can't see it. The teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Scarposis won the draw center. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Shot! Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow! Coach has been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves. Scores! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the Sally. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. When you're one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, you want to make them move first, and this is exactly what happens as the shooter just outweights the goalie and gets the room up high. Great glove high shot. Hershey's taking a one-goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after more. Grabs the puck at center. Moves it quickly over to Johnstone. Uses the force on that hit. Receives the pass. Here's a short pass. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Hershey's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Puck grab by Johansson. Makes the save with the trapper. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Fires it. Glove save. And he elects to play the puck. Quick pass to Johnstone. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. Loses his balance on the play. Shot! Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Works it across to Sahorna. Now over Tiorio. Unable to reach that one. Hershey's got a hold of the puck. One on one with the goaltender. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of the streets, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Grabbed along the board by Iorio. Takes a 
feet at the point. Oh, what an F. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. Hershey's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down. One more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line in this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Marlins have been back on their heels throughout this entire game. The good part, they got 20 minutes left to play, and it's a close game. they got to find an opportunity to get a shot off, James, and that means generating speed, generating offense, and they'll only start if they can get into the offensive zone. Whoops, Bruce Scranton's game possession along the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Hammers it on the Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they've just created and doing something with it. I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. Lots of time left in this period. We got a tie game. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Fadoon's moving it ahead. Hershey's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a chance. No room for that one to get through. Shot and the save. Gauthier's got the puck. And we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here. Just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's all tied up. Hershey's got it, and they're on the attack. Hammers a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Turned aside with the glove by Gautier. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Wilkes-Free Scranton's won the face-off deep in their own end. Fadoon stick handling in his own zone. Comes up possession of the puck. Taken by Johansson. Hershey sliding the puck behind the net. Moves it to LaPierre. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. jumping out to a one-goal lead here in the third. Yeah, you know, it's all about being urgent and not changing the mindset that got you the lead, right, James? You want to make sure that you're attacking at all costs because you know that you've held the puck, so you can. Your opponent is chasing. Continue pushing the pace, and you'll get the W. More than half the frame has been played here. The Bears are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Takes control of the puck. Wilkes-Barre Scranton's looking to break out. Quick pass to Ouellette. Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James. And one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. 
slides the puck to Sutter. The Bears looking against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. Handles the puck. Wilkesbury Scranton's got it in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Johansson. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Makes the save with the puck. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Zahorna. Hershey's got a hold of the puck now. Comes up with the stop. Prudence lugging the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Hershey's looking to break out of their own end. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Great hit on the play. And here we go. It's a late-going play here. Now they're running out of runway. We're waiting for this one all game. And as the game paused to an end, they find a way to drop the gloves. Well, I think this is exactly what a lot of people came to see tonight, Cheryl. There's no love lost between these two teams. Every time they set foot on the ice, you know it's a heated battle. The Bulldogs have created a buzz in the building as everyone's standing on their feet, cheering their guy on in this fight. Carl's got the answer as to who had the better night. Butcher's a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight for the offensive side of this game. I've been impressed with his performance. Slides the puck over. Great save! Made it perfect! Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Quick feed to Bicciotti. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Just when the coach is likely thinking about pulling the goalie because you're down by one, you take a penalty. Tough call. Hershey's got a great opportunity here on the power play. The Bruins are up next, according to the league schedule makers, and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. Rhodes ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Four pass on the play, and the puck leads the zone. Moves it quickly over to Will. Slip feed. to a blazing start, and then it was just more protect the lead for the rest of the way, Cheryl. Yeah, it was for both teams in the first period. I think they're getting an earful from their coach saying, listen, we also have to play on the other side of the puck. They did a much better job of that in second and third. That'll do it for tonight's EA Sports broadcast. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.